Okay, welcome to Meat Eater Hot Tip Off, where we have a contest who has the best hot tip. Go ahead, Giannis. Okay, if you're into uh, sort of judging the size of a bull's antlers, a great way to do that okay. is to know, start with the base measurement to know that on a mature bull, not like a, what they call a raghorn, like a bull that's probably three or four or younger, but an older mature bull, that the distance between his base and where his main beam has the crook in it and turns, which is basically where the fourth point, the sword point goes up, that distance is 30 inches. So then if you take from the fourth point to the end and it's the same distance, you know, you have a 60-inch 60, 60 main beam. And if you know if it's two-thirds of that distance, then you probably have another 20 inches added on there, so you have 50 inches. What you can also do then, knowing that that number, you say, okay, I think I have 20 inches left from the fourth point out, then you can take his fourth point and lay that down on that main beam and using your head, just, you know, making that picture in your head. But you can't actually saw it off. Yeah, you can't actually yeah. bend it and lay it over. But imagine doing so, and again, then you can get a rough estimate at how long that fourth point is. So there that's you go. How Start people, with the 30 inches there and kind of build off the top there. That's how people will look at a bull through their binoculars and say, like, that's a 360 bolt. There's, like, tricks like that. Sure. Here's my hot tip. If you're vacuum sealing, uh, let's say clams, bluegill flays, anything that's got a lot of water in it, a good trick to keep the water from coming up into the chamber and corrupting your seal and making your vacuum sealer all nasty, you take a piece of paper towel and kind of roll it up and stick it in the bag. So here's the mouth of the bag. You line it with a strip of paper towel, then close it, then seal it. That way when the moisture is coming up out of your clams or bluegill flays or what have you, it hits that little paper towel barrier. The paper towel absorbs the, absorbs the moisture. You get a nice clean seal and your sealer remains nice and clean. Which one do you like better, Pounder? That one. That one better? Yeah, no mess. Because you, you don't like a messy world? No. Nope. Good. Good tip.